So because it's Spirit Week, I'm going to be doing this video as Minnie Mouse and I think maybe the next three videos. So bear with me, um, whatever year you're watching, this was the week of Spirit Week. But um, in Algebra 2, 3, 2, we're dealing with solving systems of inequality. So basically, um, we're graphing inequalities like we did before, but this time we're graphing two inequalities in one. So it's nothing new, it's just now we are going to see where both shades overlap. When we're dealing with lines and where they intersect, um, with systems of equations, whenever uh, the two equations intersect, that's their solution. Well, with inequalities, their solution is a shaded region. So wherever the shaded region is, um, is oh, wherever the shaded region overlaps, that's where our answer is. So we're going to just take it one um, equation at a time. Now, it's super tempting for some people to draw both lines and then shade later, but I would take it one time, uh, one, one equation at a time. Take the equation, solve it then um, shade in, and then take the next equation, solve it, and shade it. That way you can see exactly where they overlap. So we're going to take the first one. y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 3. Okay? So in this case, um, I'm going to first graph the line. Okay? By doing y equals 2x minus 3. So this is my starting point, negative 3. Um, I mean, my y-intercept is negative 3. And I'm going to go up 2 over 1. So 1, 2 over 1, 1, 2 over 1. It's kind of a steep line. And again, I didn't draw these graphs perfect. So it might be better when you, if you draw it on a graph paper. But because this has a line underneath, we're dealing with a solid line. So now it's a matter of the second step is to test. And because 0, 0 is not on there, I'm going to test 0, 0. And just like you remember, we're testing it into the original equation. So 0 is greater than or equal to 2 times 0 minus 3. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 3. This is true. 0 is bigger than negative 3. So that means I'm shading all of the regions in there. My next line is y equals, sorry, y is less than negative x plus 2. So my first thing is to graph. So y equals negative x plus 2. I'm going to start at positive 2. Um, and then I'm going to, it's negative 1 over 1. So I'm going to go down one, positive one, down one, positive one, okay? And because this has no line underneath, I'm going to do a dash line, okay? Um, zero, zero is not on the line, so I can use that again to test into my original equation. So it would be zero is less than negative zero plus two, 0 is less than 2. This is true. So everything, now when I'm shading, I'm going to ignore um, the, my first equation because I, I want to draw as if it's the only graph there so I can see where they truly overlap, okay? Because it shouldn't matter which one I graph first and it shouldn't be dependent. So I'm going to ignore the green. I'm just going to focus on this, okay? I either have this side of the purple line or this side of the purple line to color. I'm going to shade in, and because 0 and 0 is true, 0, 0.0 is true, it's on this side of the purple line, so that's what I'm going to shade. So where it overlaps, which is right here, this brown, this is my solution. Okay, 
And if I really want to emphasize, especially if you're using purple, I'm going to go ahead and just, just shade it much darker. If you want to color code it, you can. Um, but this is where they overlap. So that means any of these points that I try in this shaded area will work for both of them. Okay? They're X and Y. So go ahead and um, write this out. Pause it. Write it out. Um, we're going to do another problem. And then you're free to go. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have um, y is greater than or equal to negative 3 fourths plus 1. I'm going to graph the line. y equals negative 3 fourths plus ooh, x plus 1. So I'm going to start at 1. I'm going to go down 3. 1, 2, th one, two 3 over 4. 2, 3, 4. I can go backwards by putting the negative on the bottom. So I go up three, but back four. That way I'm not like going off the graph. And this is a line underneath, so this is in fact solid. <laughs> Super squiggly, I apologize. Okay, and then the next one, because zero, zero is close, but it's not on there, we're gonna test zero, zero. Okay, so we have into the original equation. So zero is less than or equal to negative three fourths times zero plus one. Zero is greater than or equal to one. This is false. Because it's false, I'm not gonna shade the side with zero, zero, but the opposite side. Okay. My next equation is y is less than or equal to negative 3 fourths x minus 2. So I'm going to start at negative 2. Okay, I'm going to go to down 3 over 4. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put opposite. I'm putting the negative on the bottom, so I'm going to go up 3 over back 4. And this is solid as well. And then I'm going to, so my first thing was to graph. My second is to test 0, 0, because that's also not on the point. So into the original equation here. So 0 is less than or equal to negative 3 fourths times 0 minus 2. 0 is less than or equal to negative 2. That's false. So that means I'm going to shade the opposite side, which is here. So in this case, the blue, the, the two shaded regions do not intersect. They do not um, overlap. So this, because there's no overlap, is no solution. That means there's not um, any points that you can put in here and in here, and you will get true, to true uh, statements. If one, if it's true for this, it's not going to be true for this, and vice versa. So that's what that means. Um, so go ahead and write this down. Try page 149 numbers 1 and 2, 149 numbers 1 and 2, and I will see you in class.